Ever since man discovered how to paint on the walls and ceiling of caves, he has tried to capture the beauty of an idea and the attention of the onlooker. It's hard to believe that not until 150 years ago was man able to mass reproduce this same quality. Beauty can only describe the artwork of the cigar box label. Through the technique of stone lithography, artists were able to rival the detail, mood, and color variations of a painting. Lithography depended upon a Bavarian limestone. The stone surface was finely granulated, perfect for etching, and provided the highest quality for color reproduction. The history of lithography goes back to 1796, when a fellow by the name of Louis Seinfelder discovered that if he drew directly onto a stone surface with a wax crayon, the porous stone allowed the grease from the crayon to penetrate and become fixed into the stone. To his astonishment, when he dampened the stone with water and applied it with ink, he found that the water repelled the ink, while the greasy lines of the drawing did the opposite and retained the color. The result transferred a bright, clear image to the paper. Creating a cigar label was a serious business with little margin for error. In 1900, it cost up to $6,000 and the combined efforts of highly skilled artisans working for over a month to create one label. The artists would first have to create a design sketch for approval. Once approved, a key line drawing was created to show color contours and color placement. Then, using one of the heavy Bavarian limestones, artists would transfer the drawings to the stone surface. Labels had up to 13 colors which meant etching 13 different stones, one for each color. It took a highly skilled artist with a solid understanding of colors, shades, and tones to figure out how many stones it took and in what sequence to turn out a quality print. Multicolored images required progressive proofs. These were used to aid the pressman in aligning each stone to the paper. The last label produced was called a colored key. This proof had multiple color bars indicating the sequence in which each color was to be applied to the final label. Aligning the stones and applying ink was a tedious and a time-consuming process. Each color was a separate press run and had to be aligned exactly to create all the colors and shades. By the beginning of the 1880s, the quality of the scar image was improving. Skilled workers and repetitive processes helped to produce some of the most beautiful lithographic works of their day. At the very heart of the cigar box label was the inside label. By necessity, the inside label contained the most complete colorful designs. All other labels on the box became secondary. The greatest change in making cigar box labels occurred in 1889 with the addition of embossing. Embossing provided a raised effect, giving definition and vibrancy to the label. People and objects suddenly popped out. With the addition of gold and bronze flakes, it gave coins and metals the added dimension of realism. Cigar box labels are products of a bygone era. It was a special time in American history when a person's skills craftsmanship and quality prevailed. Artists, through the magic of stone lithography and the glittering effects of embossing, were able to transform the cigar box label into an exquisite work of art, but more importantly, making it worthy of the universal and timeless qualities that characterizes all of arts.